Hi everyone, welcome on the Babcock stand here at DSCI 2021. We are in front of that nice Type 31 frigate scale model. I am with Jonathan Walton, VP of Business Development for Marine, to learn the latest on the Type 31 program. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. And it's awesome to be back at a trade show of this size. DSCI is always great. So what's the latest with the program? OK, with the, uh, the model you see here, is the Arrowhead 140 design, which was, as you said, selected for the UK Type 31 uh, program. Uh, the program is proceeding very well. That's a design that you're offering to a number of uh, customers uh, for export. Can you tell us some details about uh, this uh, export so, aspect? So the, the Arrowhead 140 is an attractive export proposition because of its key characteristics of adaptability and flexibility. Uh, combined with uh, an excellent price point and value for money through life. So there are a number of uh, key characteristics which make it very competitive in the, in the international marketplace. In terms of uh, markets, can you tell us more? We previously met uh, at DFIA in Greece. Uh, is that a competition in which you're still involved? Yes, Greece is, uh, remains a, a program of great interest to Babcock. Uh, other programs include Poland, the Mijnik frigate program in Poland, and also Indonesia. Uh, so those are currently active programs. There are a number of other countries who have expressed interest, uh, but in slower times. So we're, you know, we will be developing those opportunities as they progress. All right, Jonathan. Since we have uh, this uh, nice and large uh, model of the frigate, uh, can you tell us about some of the key design features of the Type 31? Sure. Key design characteristics of the Arrowhead 140 include, first of all, its size. It's a large ship, nearly 140 meters length overall, and nearly 20 meters beam. Uh, that enables a high degree of adaptability for a different and wide range of roles uh, at the outset of initial acquisition, and thereafter significant flexibility as to the re-rolling of the, of the vessel, should circumstances, should operational conditions change throughout the life of the, the vessel. The large size also uh, enables ease of construction, so she is a relatively easy ship to construct in a modular fashion. She is easy to maintain, uh, enabling uh, highly competitive through life and in-service support costs. The flexibility and adaptability is demonstrated through the ability to say, let's say, reposition uh, the vertical launch system on the vessel. Currently, we're showing it in this position. We can move it forward and replace the, the gun system at the, towards the bow of the vessel, like so. Uh, we are showing here uh, various uh, different masts for Arrowhead 140 to incorporate different uh, radar systems for different roles, so we can easily simply remove one mast and replace in a, in a new design with uh, the alternative mast for the different roles. I think the, uh, the overall uh, cost advantage of Arrowhead 140 is the fact that she is designed for ease of construction and ease of maintenance and through life support with great flexibility and adaptability through a service life of 35-40 years.